from Eyewitness Sports. This is the Splitsville Luxury Lanes High School Turkey Rep. Welcome into the Turkey Wrap with Mark Dondero. I'm Yanni Krakis. Happy Thanksgiving. This here is our holiday tradition at Channel 12. We're happy to bring you along. Yanni, happy Thanksgiving to you. It is the one day a year when everyone in our building is shooting games, and it's the one day when high school football in New England is bigger than in Florida, Texas, sure. yeah. Georgia, everywhere. It's it a great, rules. absolutely a great tradition. Sit back, relax, enjoy the action. 30-minute show. Let's start with one of the most well-known Thanksgiving games, LaSalle and East Providence. The Rams of course will play in next week's D1 Super Bowl against Hendrickson. Here we go. First quarter Rams driving. Jace Pina picked off by Aaron Amaral. He's going to return it for a pick six. Townies with a 7-0 lead. LaSalle comes right back. Kyron Lopes. This kid's so fun to watch. Bulldozing through the defense. 26 yards for the touchdown. That ties things at 7. Second quarter. Townies down 14-7. Ryan Ellenwood sells the play action deep to Jaden Chase. Waiting for the touchdown that ties things at 14. LaSalle playing their guys the whole game despite the Super Bowl looming. Lope, five yard score to make it a 10 point game. But how about this? Fourth quarter, LaSalle trying to close it out. When they cough it up, Alan Taylor picks it up. He's gone 70 yards for wow. the score. That makes it a three point game. But the Rams would hold off the charge. LaSalle okay. wins 24 21 to remain undefeated. Great game, you know. You expect nothing less from this game. It's a, it's the longest tradition in Rhode Island, you know. And uh, you know, I tip your cap to East Providence. They came out and they played us tough. All right, here come the Cranston West Falcons onto the field for their matchup with Cranston East, breaking paper, then breaking tackles. Abdiel Mendez for Cranston West Ooh. busts through the line, then applies a stiff arm downfield before finding his way to the end zone. Touchdown West. But the Bolts, they made plays of their own. Mark Kim Monroe on defense. You'll see it there. He nice. snags the interception, and he goes all the way for the touchdown, helping Cranston East to the seven-point win over the rivals on Thanksgiving, 28-21. North Kingstown hosting South Kingstown. Rebels head coach Eric Anderson, a math teacher of mine at SK. How about that, Mark? Look at that. <laughs> Opening drive for the Rebels. Rafael Pyers dives into the end zone. Two-yard score to give SK the early 6-0 lead. How about some defense in case Matthew Madoyan back to pass? Crushed by Mason Duran. He's all jacked up. Yes, he Skippers is. with some D of their own. Play of the day nomination. Check out the concentration from Christopher George. Wow. The INT on his butt. But this day belongs to the Rebels. Anthony Shepard on the pitch. He's got a haul. Down the sideline, 72 yards to the house. SK beats NK, 28-7 is the final. Were you at that game? I was. All right. All my bottom. Middletown hosting Portsmouth on the island Thanksgiving. Um, that's a field goal for Portsmouth, but Middletown later driving. And coming around a corner, threatening. That would get down to about, I don't know, the two-yard line. They would eventually punch it in here. When quarterback, last name Francis, rolls out, Ooh. decides, I'm going to take it in, and does just that. And this is the reverse. play that Portsmouth had to have. Yeah, on the fourth down, end around, doesn't quite get in. Oh. And, well, this isn't the fourth down play, but Portsmouth doesn't quite get in here. This is the fourth down play. And it would be Middletown getting the win and going on. They're going to play in the Super Bowl 22-16, though, on Thanksgiving. Mount Hope cheerleaders bringing their best on Turkey Day. Huskies hosting Barrington. Eagles not being very nice guests today. Jake DeMarco, the toss to another Jake. That's Jake Sly at six points. A little later, more Eagle offense. DeMarco to Sly and check out Jake's arm. The great ball to Colin Water. Six more for Barrington. They brought the defense to Sly all over the place today. Eagles roll by a final of 42 to nothing. Now, Mark, the Westerly Stonington game is intriguing not only because it crosses state lines, Rhode Island and Connecticut, but it's widely regarded as the oldest Thanksgiving game in these parts. Yeah, it is one of the games that they've played going back, well, a long time. In fact, it is the 151st meeting between Westerly and Stonington, dating way back to before Instagram. This is the 97th time also that they've played on Thanksgiving Day, so all kinds of history. And here they are plunging ahead. That's Stonington. Bears up a touchdown early. Then it was Jacob Shulda 
taking the handoff and finding pay dirt. There you go. Looks out. Then on D, Stonington Seamus Wallace making a pick right here, sitting and making six after he does that. Stonington will go on the blank westerly and win their 70th game of the rivalry, 28 to nothing in the final. Now in Division Two, the Super Bowl is already set up. Next weekend, Moses Brown and Shea will battle for a Super Bowl crown. We can't wait for that. Yeah, that's going to be great. Both teams happen to play tomorrow, but let's dive into some other D2 action from today. West Warwick visiting Coventry, scoreless first quarter. Wizards stop twice at the goal line, but the third time is a charm. David LaMontagne dances into the end zone. One yard score, 6 nothing. West Warwick. Later in the half, LaMontagne back to pass, but he is Picked off by Darnell Fenwick, and Fenwick will be tough to take down. He had a nice game. Here comes Coventry on offense. Joseph Foley to Fenwick. He can play both sides of the ball and do it well. That's a touchdown. Now get this, Oakers would score late TD with one second remaining to make it a two-point game, but the two-point conversion failed, and the Wizards escape 21-19. Now, Mark, this time last year, we stood here and talked about how it could be the last Warwick Vets Pilgrim game Thanksgiving ever. But here we are a year later, and the two teams played again today. It's good to see. I remember those days well. <laughs> Way back last year, Warwick Vets visiting Pilgrim today. Thanksgiving, a big travel holiday. Here's Pilgrim on their way to the end zone on this play. Looks like some kind of wildcat formation. Owen Kelly hits Darren Grant for the touchdown, but Vets had some answers as they convert out of the pistol here for oh. the TD. But at the end of the day, it was Pilgrim outlasting the Vets, 42 to 27. We are just getting started on the turkey wrap. After the break, we dive into the rest of the action around Rhode Island, including highlights from a couple of Super Bowl teams. Plus, we head to Massachusetts. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the Splitsville Luxury Lanes High School Turkey Wrap. The Splitsville Luxury Lanes High School Turkey Wrap continues. Welcome back. Happy Thanksgiving. Yanni Caracas, Mark Dondero. Uh, East Greenwich will be vying for the Division III Super Bowl Championship next weekend, so they wanted to get out of today's game healthy, taking on Exeter West Greenwich. They also would like a win, though. Absolutely. For these Super Bowl teams, it's trying to balance wanting to win the rivalry game and staying healthy for the big one. This, though, the first year the Avengers and Scarlet Knights played on Thanksgiving. This game, all EG, up 27-0 at the break, and their backups keeping up the momentum. Donovan Kacheri Cassidy, I'm told he's related to the former governor, and he's heading to the end zone, 44-yard score, to put the Avengers up 33-0. Ensuing possession, Garrett Steinberg punches it in, four-yard score. Give credit to EWG. They continue to play hard, especially on defense. But the day belonged to the Avengers, 39-0 in the final. They get the win and remain healthy heading into the Super Bowl. It's nice to play on Thanksgiving. It's good to play in front of a good crowd, in front of friends and family, so all that was good. I think we had um, the championship in our sights kind of looking down the road a little bit, but I thought today went well and I was happy with it. Happy about the win. Uh, it's a good Thanksgiving, but uh, our eyes really focus on the uh, Super Bowl next week. So we're going to see what we can do, maybe pull out a win. Look at the field conditions at Burrowville for the burrowville Ponagansic game. But as Coach Ferraro said, uh, on, foot, uh, on <laughs> Thanksgiving, I should say, you should play football, and that's what they do. They play football on Thanksgiving, and Tupper Riley came to play. Here he is receiving the punt for Burrowville and then plodding his way through the defense all the way to the end zone for the score. 70 yards gives the Broncos the 28-zip lead. Now, less than 30 seconds ago in the half, Ponagansett just trying to play it safe, but big old Jake Stankoski. Oh, the big man. The big lineman has <laughs> other ideas. He intercepts the screen pass, and then with under 10 seconds to go, plenty of time for Isaiah De Silva, who hooks up with William Pollard for the score. Burrowville wins big on Thanksgiving, 41 to 12 over Ponagansett in the snow. It, it was like a story. It was like a storybook. Uh, you know, when we came out here this morning and we saw that the field was, you know, still snowy, and and uh, we knew we were going to be very excited to play here. And it's just an amazing electricity, you know, about the day. What a scene in Burrowville. To Cherho we go. The Chargers hosting Narragansett. and Manners up 14 nothing. Here comes Cherho, Jacob Russo, deep to Nicholas Chartier, diving grab, another play of the day nomination. More mm. Cherho, Dominic Seringioni on the carry. He's heading for the pylon. Watch out, Matt Touchette. Oh, almost run over. He's our photog. Next play, Salvatore DeSantis finishes the job with an easy touchdown. That makes it a three-point game, but that's as close as they get. Narragansett wins 17-14. to 14. 
Yankees. All right, Yanni, next highlight here. We're going to highlight this game a little differently. Rodgers topped Tiverton 33-7 to today, but the biggest plays were made after the game when the coach of each team gave out a sportsmanship award to a player on the opposing team. A great gesture on Thanksgiving Day, highlighting the great respect between the two programs. So it was great to have these teammates, and really, I give it all to them. You know, they push me, and uh, just the competition. You know, I just love to live, live it, live it. You know. Nice plan. Forward to it every year. I mean, we know Rogers is a tough team, so we don't want to do nothing but come out and fight. Hopefully, get a win. This little North Providence fan rocking the turkey hat can only wear that once a year. Home team driving early, but Sentinel defense against tough Daniel. Arian the take down there. Cougars would turn the ball over on downs. They would get it back and get going. David Ticelli hands it off to Nathan Morera. The fullback busts through the line. Spin move, but then takes a shot oh. from Michael Katoya. Ball popped loose. Jordan Lee on the spot. He recovers it next play. Ticelli calls his own number. That's six for the home team. And then the Cougars getting it down on the other side. Muhammad Diom and Brian Iancillo combined there. North Providence shuts out Smithfield. 12-0 is the final. Coming up after the break, all the highlights from Southeastern Massachusetts. An absolute barn burner between Attleboro and North Attleboro. You don't want to miss this after the break. Hi, we're the Timberton High School cheerleaders. Stick around for more of the Blitzville Luxury Lanes High School Turkey Wrap. The Splitsville Luxury Lanes High School Turkey Wrap continues. Welcome back to the show. Happy Thanksgiving. Good stuff from Rhode Island. Let's head uh, up north to Massachusetts. Yeah, I, mean, I was at the Attleboro North Attleboro game earlier in the year. Now, that one was a big one. This one on Thanksgiving Day, always a big one as well. Blue Bombardiers. They took the game last year. Uh, looking to keep it in Attleboro. Took the cup. And the 94th Turkey Day meeting, instant classic. North led 14-7 at the half. Then second half, they add to it. Justin Gallagher to Nick Rajati. He carves his way through the D21-7 North. But home team rallies. Killian Ross up top to Alex Silva. He hauls it in, hauls it down. Six points, and it is game on. Score the same. When Ross goes up top again, he finds Matt Elliott this time. Two-point conversion would tie the game. So this one headed to the extra time. Overtime. Blue Bombardiers got the ball first. At the 10, Ross finds Elliott here. Home team up 27-21. You've got to love this. Overtime on Thanksgiving Day. All right. Now watch this extra point. Ah. It's, oh no, Andrew Hanwell gets a hand on it. It is blocked, picked up by Kylan Trichian. And he's off to the races. 90 yards wow. later, Kyle's in the end zone. That's good for a safety. Cuts the lead to 27-23. Out of ball, we're in overtime. Then the Red Rocketeers get their offensive possession. And Gallagher looking for Ridge Olsen. Oh, and he's got it. it. North Attleboro wins in overtime, 29-27. Final. We had two good teams going at it. I think, uh, you know, there were several opportunities in that game where we could have put it away, and we didn't. And uh, we made some mistakes, and Attleboro just kept battling back. We just couldn't get rid of them. It's the wildest game I've probably ever played. It, it was insane. Um, right up until the end, Attleboro fought really hard. They're a really good team, but we were able to pull it out. We, I believe we worked harder. We were just, we've been working all year. They've been working all year, and it came down to the last second, and we pulled it off. That game is why today is great. Second quarter, New Bedford's Jonathan Reyes. By the way, this is Durfee, New Bedford. He's in for the touchdown to make it 13-6. New Bedford still in the second quarter. Jaron Vieira on the QB sneak. He will run it in for the touchdown. That makes it 13 all at the half. This was a good one too, Mark. Fourth quarter, Durfee QB, Jaron Vieira. This time he's going to hand it off to Brian DeMello. DeMello is thinking touchdown, and he has it. Meanwhile, the ball 20, ball. look at him go. Yeah. 20 seconds left in this game. Chandler DeBrossi to Andrew Raposi. Oh, almost got taken down. This ties the game at 20. Another overtime game. What's going on in Mass? Jerry and Vieira, he's going to try to sneak in for the touchdown. He does. Two-point conversion, no good. That is important. Back comes New Bedford. Morales, he scores now to tie things up. So they go for the two-point conversion. And let's see if they can make it. 28-26, if this is good. DeBrazi to Hunter Flugel. He scores, wait for it, the backflip in slow motion. 
28-26. Yeah, it was a wild one. I mean, uh, we just never gave up. I mean, we kept fighting, kept fighting, and uh, put it in the end zone with a couple minutes left, and uh, once that happened, we knew we were going to get this game. This is a traditional game, 121, 121st game, and when, you know, record's out the window, Turkey Day, DeBron, Bedford, New Bedford, it's just definitely a great rivalry, and um, just it was a great game. It was a great game. They both, both sides played very hard. New Bedford, Vogue Tech, and Diamond. Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. First quarter, Diamond driving, but Vogue, on a fourth down, they get a huge sack. Oh. There it is, crunch, and they get the ball back. And then they get the ball moving. Second quarter, Jacob Tavares taking a handoff here, and then he'd scamper all the way home on Thanksgiving. That's where you want to be, giving Vogue seven zip lead later in the quarter. Donovan Hilton, more ground and pound action. He's going to take a handoff himself, and he would be just as productive, busting through. Yeah, that's a little toss for another touchdown, though. Same result. New Bedford Vogue. They go on to beat Diamond, 34 to six, the final. Big crowd at DR Falcons hosting Seekonk this year, and the home team looking to give the fans something to cheer for. Driving Nate Kowalski fakes the pitch. Rolls looking for Kyle Capello. Lucas Amadio there to help break it up. The Falcons get the TD. Kowalski, the fake, finds Jake Solera. And Solera finds the end zone. Dighton Rehoboth blanks Seekonk by a final of 27-0. Now, Dartmouth will be playing in the Super Bowl at Gillette Stadium. Uh, today, That they had their annual matchup with Fairhaven. Super Bowl a week from Saturday. Dartmouth, though, and Fairhaven getting after it prior to having some turkey this afternoon. Bird's eye view of this game. A little, little higher than we're used to. Blaine Almeida, doesn't matter. Of Dartmouth, fakes the handoff, finds Alex oh. Tisdell. He gets the edge, and he's just faster than everybody else on his way for the long touchdown for Dartmouth. Speaking of long touchdowns, this one, not quite as long, but just as impressive. Almeida off the plate fake, going up top for Matt Cray. That's an easy pitching catch as Dartmouth gets a clean 31-14 win over Fair Haven. The band rocking it out for Somerset and Case. Raiders having the most fun today. Joe Fingless ends it off to Chris Wood. He breaks through the line, skips down the sideline, and knocked out just shy of the end zone. Next play, Finglass. He's going to fake out everyone. Wood gets the touchdown. Somerset had a great season. They make sure to finish it the right way. Justin Duarte, the handoff to Kyle Crombie. He's knocked out. Inside the 10, Duarte to Bobby McNeil. Somerset rolls on Turkey Day. 44-0 is the final. All right, let's check out Taunton and Coyle Cassidy. There's the field. Uh, Taunton here, well, they came to play. They got some help. Falcons, check that. Taunton recovers the fumble after the ball was on the ground. And then later, this is Terrence Gibson taking a handoff and tackling him. Not an option. He totes the rock all Big the way point. down for the score. Taunton, they get the, the big win on Thanksgiving, 27-7. Still to come on the Turkey Wrap. We'll get you ready for tomorrow's lineup of games and talk about the Super Bowl matchups a week from Saturday and Sunday. Don't go anywhere. Hi! We're at the Tiger Cheerleaders! Thank you for the order. The Splitsville Luxury Lanes High School Turkey Wrap continues. Welcome back to the show. The rain on Wednesday night moved several games to tomorrow, so the Thanksgiving Eve games, Yanni, will be played on the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, you wonder if all the turkey and gravy will slow the players down. Let's hope not. Here's a look at the slate of games. Hendrickin preparing for the D1 Super Bowl next week against LaSalle. They host Tollgate. You wonder how many of the Hawks players will get into that one. Um, same story for Moses Brown and Shea. They both are in the D2 Super Bowl, but it'll be Thanksgiving games against St. Ray's and Tolman, respectively. D4 Super Bowl team Situate will play North Smithfield at 5. Central Falls travels to Lincoln at 7 p.m. Friday. Also, the one socket Cumberland game from today, now Saturday at 4. Now, this year, of course, was different with Thanksgiving Day games having zero impact on standings or playoffs. Yeah, Palmer. it's pretty controversial. Uh, so in years past, like in fact, last year, a game like Cranston East West would decide who gets into the playoffs. That's not the case this year with the semifinals and the playoffs being played the weekend before Thanksgiving. So we asked coaches and athletic directors about the change. 
it's, it's a tradition. I mean, I know it's not a regular season game anymore, but it's a tradition, and you got to honor tradition because that's all we really got in, in this country is tradition. you got to honor it, honor those people that came before you, and honor those people that are going to come after you. And that's what we told our kids. We came out here and we played the game like we would play any other game. It's the most important game to us. doesn't matter what happens in playoffs. doesn't matter during the year. The second season when you play Attleboro for Thanksgiving to us is the most important thing. So it's on to the Super Bowls. The headliner in Division I, the four-time defending state champion Hendrickin, takes on LaSalle. The only loss for the Hawks this year against the Rams. That should be a good one. In Division II, we have a great matchup between Moses Brown and Shea, both teams with identical 41-14 victories over their semifinal opponent. And both the Quakers and Raiders, 6-1 and on the regular season in Division. Uh, but this will be their first meeting of the year, so that'll be fun. Division three, it'll be Middletown and East Greenwich going for the Super Bowl win. The top two seeds showing that they belong. Middletown beat Lincoln 35-0 in the semis. The Avengers blanked classical 40-0. The two met back in week two with the Islanders winning 24-7. Finally, in D4, undefeated Burrowville will try to make it a perfect season when they take on Situate. Whatever field they play on next week, they're going to feel like they're running 100,000 miles an hour. The Broncos have been a force all year in Division Four, winning every game by at least 20 points, including a 56-13 victory over Situate back in October. They'll take on Situate again. It should be great. Hopefully it's not snowing for the Super Bowl. That's right. Well, that'll do it for this edition of the Turkey Wrap. For Mark Dondero, I'm Yanni Kroc. As a big thanks to all the photogs, producers, and directors working on this holiday. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Have a good night.